now for our song in English. Good to be here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me know where you're where in the world you are. You're in the US. Where in the US? In Brazil or in somewhere else? Let me know, let me know. Morning, morning, morning. So good to see that sun shining in the message. This is nice. Awesome. And I can see the sisters are, and I believe each one is in the place. One is in the US, the other is right there in Brazil. Ah, this is so good. So nice. Have you stretched already? Have you gotten that super morning stretch? Do you have your coffee too? Yeah. Morning coffee is good. Morning coffee is good. Awesome. See, somebody's here in the US as well. This is great. Ready to get your paws? Ready to get your mind working? Why are you still in the tune? Still in the jazzy music in the morning? What's your intention for today? What's your intention for this week that is starting? Let me know. You can, if you have a pen, write it down. Get your post-its. I am a post-it person, low post it Write down your intention for today. Write down your intention for this week. We love, we love beginning. We're just beginning the day. We are just beginning the week. Everything is getting started. What's your intention? Let me know. Mayo, you were thinking of your intention. You were bringing it out. Focus your attention to it. Visualize how you see your intention. How do you think of how you hear about your intention, about the word you are bringing in. And how do you feel it in your heart? So how do you, who do you choose to be in the beginning of the week, in the beginning of the day? And who do you choose to carry this being with you? How do you choose to carry this being with you? Awesome, awesome. Now that we have gone through our intention, because if we are not intentional, we don't make things happen. So it is just great that you are here. You made the intention to you were in, to be here. Let's just start with uh, some breathing also, right? Because breathing is everything for us. It's right there whenever we need, at any time, any moment. Always remember uh, caregivers or our parents saying like, hey, breathe, stop, breathe. Take a deep breath and then continue doing something. So the breathing we are doing today is called box breathing. So we are going to inhale at the count of four or five, hold for four or five seconds, and then exhale with a tempo of four or five, and then hold out for four or five, and then we keep on doing box breathing. If you're used to doing this, it's awesome. If you can go into your tempo of five, if you're not used to doing it, maybe starting at four is comfortable. If it's like, oof, too much, whew, take your own time and it's okay, do it on your time, your own timing, it's fine. So just before we start, let's take a deep breath. Sign out. One more time together. Awesome. Awesome. So now we're going to inhale, breathe in to the count of four. So one, two, three, four, and hold for one two, three, four, breathe out, 
One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Now go on your counting, and if you want to, you can follow my hand. So just hold out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. One more round. Nice, nice and easy. So let's all take a whoo, deep breath all together. Inhale, inhale. Mm, exhale. One more time, you can inhale and notice, do a me search. How are you feeling of connecting to your breath purposely? purposefully and with meaning to do that intentionally how do you feel there is no right or wrong just observe what goes in your heart in your mind in your body after taking this breaths together if you want to write down you can write it down what do you observe what is going on if after this breathing together I appreciate you taking the, the, this box breathing with me. Transitioning here, because we love some questions. We love having time to reflect on what's been going on with us and then in the world, right? Gonna tell you that some time ago, months ago, I was at a training and I had the chance to uh, connect with the person that wrote this book, Project Heaven on Earth, from Martin Root. And what got my attention, he didn't mention this on the training, on the lecture, but it was so interesting that he had been to Brazil and uh, he's been in Brazil, the time he spent there also inspired him to 
also not only that but inspired him to write the book project heaven on earth and uh, there are three questions in this book which is three questions that we are going to think of today it's really it they really got me thinking and the, the answers to this to this questions like there is no right or wrong it is just about you thinking processing over these questions and we are different every day every we have our essence but what goes in our mind is different so it's so interesting because depending on the day you think of the question one thing may pop up in your in your mind and or something else may pop up differently are you ready do you have some pencil do you have something to write on take note try not to just to keep in your mind but if it if it, that's what you have keep it in your mind <laughs> so the first question i have here for you is like i would like you to go back in time and think of a moment that you can remember that you have experienced that you experienced living heaven on earth so remember a moment when you experienced heaven on earth what was happening at the moment what do you remember hearing seeing and feeling at the moment so remember a moment when you experienced living heaven on earth what was happening at the moment what do you remember hearing what do you remember seeing what do you remember feeling at the moment? A moment that you experienced heaven on earth. So this is the very first question in the book. If you want to write down in the chat, you can, or write down in your notes. What is a moment you experienced heaven on earth? What was happening at the moment? What's going on in your heart? How did you experience heaven on earth? Grab the first, they're the very first thoughts that comes to you. Was it a birth of somebody? Was it that you had a, a, a great connection with somebody? Was it with a pet, maybe, or you traveling? You experienced heaven on earth. More seconds for you to grab your thoughts and put into paper. What was that moment for you that you were experiencing heaven on earth? Going back there in the past, you've lived it. Everybody has a moment different moments for everyone so there's no right or wrong your moment maybe it was just a moment that you can connect it to a plant a flower and breathe in it's perfume we're experiencing heaven on earth grab your thoughts We are going to go to our second question now. Ooh. Even if you have your thoughts going on that question, leave them there. You capture the very first essence of it. Right now, imagine that you have a magic wand and you can create heaven on earth. So this is my magic wand. I can create heaven on earth right now. What is heaven on earth for you? You can create it. You have the magic wand. You are creating it. How do you see your heaven on earth? How do you feel your heaven on earth? How do you hear your heaven on earth? You have the magic wand. So have a few minutes here just to grab what it is like 
and to describe it. What is heaven on earth for you at this moment with your magic wand? You're creating it. You are creating your heaven on earth. Visualize it. See it. Feel it. Hear it. What is your heaven on earth? How does it materialize in front of you? It's very moment, the present. Right now. Think about it. Write it down. What is heaven on earth for you? Today. Beginning of the week, beginning of the day. Or heaven on earth. How do you see it? How do you hear it? Feel it. Yeah. So this moment we are going to our third question. Remember, three questions. Take note of your heaven and earth right now in the present moment. So now my question is, what is one simple, concrete step? that you can take in the next 24 hours for you to create your heaven on earth. One single step, one simple step, one concrete step that you can take to create your heaven on earth in the next 24 hours. What is it? Write it down. Get your post-it and say, I can call somebody, I can re respond to an email, I can bring kindness to someone, I can really stop and, and look in front of the mirror and say, hey, I love you. To the person in front of the mirror, you can say that, hey, you can get it, because you are creating, you are taking this step. What is this one step that you take in the next 24 hours for you to do it heaven and earth? What is that? Think about it, write it down. Call somebody, talk to somebody, be kind to yourself, be kind to the world. What is it? What can you do to create this heaven on earth? If it is possibilities, you can do it, absolutely. One single step, one simple step, one concrete step in the next 24 hours. What are you doing? Curious. Are you calling somebody? Are you telling somebody in front of the mural how that person is important? Oh, that's great. That's big. That's something really, 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 really big. Give that to yourself, but bring it to action in the next 24 hours. Bring it to action. We have over that. You're living the present. You're creating in the present. You have just one thing to do. Focus on that, that you're creating your heaven on earth. Your one single action. And then with this, like miracles into your life. Accept abundance. And that abundance can flow easy into your life. Choose opportunities. Instead of the obstacles, or when you see the obstacles in question, if you are asking about them, see them as a perfect perform, create a moment, to think, to in your heart, and to hear and speak your mind, focus on kindness, focus on attitude. Thank you so much. I'm grateful for you on the other side of the screen. Taking this moment with God, being here, possibly being here. Thank you so much. We have another one today, later in the day, in English at 7:30 p.m. My time, Florida time. 
we translate accordingly. And next week, we have one more pause. We still have one more Monday in July, so I'll see you also next week. 7.30 in the morning for the English session, 7.30 p.m. for the English session, English Live. Yes, as I said, Florida time. All this time is Florida time. Translate it accordingly. Thank you so much for being here. You are awesome. You are with me. I love you. Yes. Thank you.